Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know, in his hands are the keys to eternal life. It's a little here, a little there, and then your day will dawn. Is that working you, changing everything in obedience to Christ? My brother, my sister, at this period of your life, I want you to hold on. The Bible says, do weeping endures. There are times you cry, but you still stay. Lord, this fast, I'm fasting as if I don't even know whether I'm touching my stomach or my back. Just fast, it doesn't kill. There are times that you sit down and you are praying and you are saying, Lord, is it that I'm a pastor? Just encourage me. By God says, what you are is not your business. You just know that you are a child of God and I'm making you become something. If you want to claim the blessings of Abraham, be ready to carry Isaac to that mountain. We live in a generation that claims people's anointings and refuses their sacrifices. Anybody that you know who has become great today, find out what they did. There is always a season of preparation. If you see anybody who breaks that rule, run away from them. They have nothing to offer you. I, have, I tell you sincerely, if you see any greatness that does not have a story and a track record of consistency with God, there is not much to offer. I've cried in my life, oh. You see me smiling all the time. I'm only smiling before you. Ask God. Ah, the burden of this ministry. The first time we organized crusade as a ministry. Then just starting. We didn't even have money to pay the transport fare. Brothers and sisters. This our generation must reduce this ungodly admiration that erodes the need for process please don't feel insulted i'm only stressing this because i want to pound it into your spirit behind every throne you see behind every throne you see there was a time i prayed for 72 hours non-stop my eyes did not know whether it was morning or night i don't say this to boast in the flesh but i am telling you ladies and gentlemen greatness does not just happen we live in a society that demeans the greatness and the value of people. No. I've had the honor and the privilege of knowing and being with a few of the fathers of faith in this nation. I tell you sometimes when you look at them, you can almost see in the spirit blood just dripping like rain on the ground. Their entire lives have become a drink offering before even business people before you admire people you want to stretch your hands to the sick and they are healed you want to tell someone stand up from a wheelchair and he stands you want to open a church or an assembly and God honors you with people please let me tell you this it is more than just claiming there is a school of the spirit there is a cup you must drink of and a baptism you must be baptized with they came to Jesus and said, can you grant that when you are exalted, we will sit at your left and right. He said, the space is available, but here is the condition. Can you drink of my cup and be baptized? Listen, Moses was a man who had been trained by the Holy Spirit. Do you know Moses was a stammerer? And yet look at the kind of heavy anointing he was carrying. And he was quiet. He didn't prophesy. When the anointing on him, came on 70 elders not children a part of it oh, none of them could stand and control it yet that's what one man was carrying and he was quiet training gives you stability it gives you stamina 
when you are in the school of the spirit especially say as a minister he will teach you to know when to speak he will teach you to know when to be quiet it's not everything that offends you say people are offending me in this church you've not gone through the school of the spirit when you go through he teaches you stability why do they do trainings for people before they promote them even in organizations am i right on that that before you promote people they call them and they have specialized trainings question what do they teach them there that they've not taught them before you are taking a director or something to become an agm and you sometimes they even go for retreats our politicians in this nation go for retreats what are they saying there the testing process is very difficult God will test everything he will be using you to do one day you will pray and it will look like the prayer is not answered and God will watch you after you have preached and said there is nothing my God cannot do you will feel as if his headache whether it's from the back of your head or the front you may not be able to explain and like Paul you will lay your hands I'm sorry I'm not giving us a lot of scriptural references I'm hurrying up I besought him thrice that this thorn be taken away from me and he says my grace is sufficient for you for my my strength is made perfect in your weakness how do you help the poor when you never become like that there is a man of God that God gave an assignment for one or two years that he should leave all his money and everything and go and live somewhere in this nation and he went and lived you would think he does not have anything it was the sacrifice in the course of that journey he received a burden for that land such a powerful evangelical burden and it changed his life uneasy lies the head that wears the crown your season of preparation discovery development and refining and then the season of testing my prayer for you is that you will not give up during your season of test man of god hear me everything god told you he will still do that man of god that woman of god you are you don't look like it the bible says it does not yet appear just stay with god just stay with god dear ceo it's true that god called you you put your hands in your pocket the only thing you touch is the end of your pocket don't worry it is true you are a kingdom financier it will not come the way you think it will happen you are still in the school of the spirit can i tell you this don't be ashamed of your tears cry but stay whatsoever he tells you to do do it let's hurry up so we can pray When you are done with the season of preparation then you are open to the next season of your life it's called the season of manifestation oh hallelujah when you get to that season when you get to that season called the season of manifestation hebrews chapter 6 and verse 15 Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 15. Please read with me, everyone. One to read. And so, after he had what? He obtained the promise. One more time, everyone, please. And so, continuation to the story. After he had patiently endured. Endured what? The mockery. Endured what? The shame. Endured what? The pain. Endured what? The ridicule. Ask Noah when he was building the ark there were people who were laughing and saying this man only God knows what you had for 120 years he was building that ark but a season would come called a season of manifestation if you cannot patiently endure there is no promise and so after he had patiently endured he obtained the promise your season of appearing is when God opens the curtain of your destiny and you are ready to stand on the stage of life can I tell you the season of appearing happens so fast it will surprise you there has never been a slow there is there are faces to it there are three faces to your season of appearing but it can happen instantly look at Joseph 
Joseph is in the prison not knowing that by the next day by that same time he would be the prime minister the disciples were tarrying do you know the frustration of tarrying 120 people just waiting I'm sure somebody will say ah what is so special about the Holy Ghost that he has not come and they say keep quiet don't don't offend the Lord just do what he asks you to do listen to what I'm telling you can I tell you this there is a mysterious way God designed the season of appearing it has indicators but you will never know the exact moment you just keep being faithful you don't know that by the next day you are going to get a job by the next day the business proposal that you have written you may never know oh Saul that you are one day left to meet Samuel when Saul left his father's house at a point they were tired they said let's go back he said no we can't go back we have come too far the same energy it takes to go back is the same energy it takes to continue let's finish up there is a seer and as soon as they went by the gates they met this mysterious man called Samuel Samuel laughed he said go up I will come and tell you what is in your heart you will get up one morning thinking it will be like any other day and God will position someone you do not know that you have just wrapped up your season of training I can tell you this how do you know your season of training has come to an end God himself defines the moment for you but I tell you this for everyone who ended seasons a man was there to lift his hands if you are Joseph Pharaoh is there if you are Saul Samuel is there for as long as you have not seen your Samuel keep moving for as long as you have not seen Pharaoh Joseph keep interpreting the dreams for free a day will come you will interpret it and it will not be for free again but qualify do it for the wine presser for free do it for the baker for free let the wine presser forget you for two years is still a test because one night Pharaoh will send for you and on that day you will not interpret for free again why will Joseph interpret a dream for free interpret this for free and even beg the man and say please if you get to Pharaoh tell him I am innocent and he forgot but when the moment was come every night Jesus kept teaching them and telling them the promise of the Spirit is coming they waited and waited and waited for 50 days after he ascended but the Bible says now Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 we're praying now when the day of Pentecost was fully come it says they were gathered with one accord verse 2 please read with me the first two words one to read one more time one more time this is how the season of appearance happens and suddenly he got the job and suddenly the mantle of his destiny came upon him and suddenly the woman got pregnant after 30 years and suddenly God opened the door and suddenly the ministry began to blossom listen to me I can tell you this you know you are in your season of appearing because suddenly things just change with speed you look back and say how did this happen when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion the Bible says we were like them that dream When the Lord began to open doors of ministry for me, when the Lord began to show me his mercy on that wise, it came with such level of speed, I could no longer accommodate my schedules. What is this new thing that is happening to me? It's as if a curtain just opened everywhere. Joshua Selman, I know how seasons of greatness comes. But can I tell you this? While you wait, cry but wait. Keep doing what he's asking you to do. You sow the seed like a fool and you are sitting down and God, can I tell you this? Nobody has exhausted his season yet. The moment you get to that season of appearing, then the, the next level starts with the same cycle again. Preparation and then manifestation. 
then the next cycle of the next realm preparation you don't exhaust it look at our father in the lord bishop david Oedipo, when he was building the the faith tabernacle oh did he know another one was coming when baba deboe was building the old crown of redeem that one is a miracle already that is somebody's prayer point in many lifetimes but after enduring god now told him build three kilometers by three kilometers next instruction i remember those days in the ministry we used to sit on the ground on mats and then the days of zaria and then now he's brought us into the city only god knows how many episodes of this greatness will happen in our lifetime that is why it's dangerous to over celebrate realms they would distract you there is a healthy way to celebrate and prepare because every time you attain a manifestation of a realm the preparation for the next realm should start immediately this is how champions live champions never plateau champions never rest as soon as they pat their back they know that you are beginning another circle listen to what i'm telling you some of you this is the reason why you rose up in ministry you rose up in your finances as soon as you made 1 million 10 million 100 million you just plateaued and say ah my soul find rest no you look at our fathers in the lord today it's as if they are just starting ministry i returned back from enugu and i was seeing the posters of our father baba kumuyi everywhere i said at this age this man is still traveling and holding crusades as if he's trying to gain visibility please huh? let me give you an advice when people clap for you sustain the courage to tell them is enough because i'm already focusing on the training for the next season let me wrap up we're going to pray give us mark chapter 4 from verse 26 let me show you the three levels of stepping into your season of appearing mark chapter 4 from verse 26 please look up everybody never forget this spiritual formula we're about to pray and he said so is the kingdom of god as if a man should cast seed where into the ground 27 and should sleep <laughs> and rise up night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knoweth not is it in your bible there now here is the progression for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself now when it has to do with bringing forth fruit three levels first the blade then the air after that the full-blown corn in the air when you begin to step into seasons of greatness everything will not happen at once there are levels first the air you will begin to see god honor you there are politicians today for instance who started as local government chairman when they won they celebrated and god told them be careful don't stop here there is still another height and then maybe they went to state house of assembly and so on and so forth and many are still on their way transiting there are business people i remember for some of you here you will sit down and tell yourself ah i just made one million and one million will look like forever for you you are happy coming from your background this is a miracle and god says celebrate but a day will come you will be feeding nations a day will come you will sign a million dollars two million dollars and give nations and they will ask you how did it feel the first day you say i still can't remember it was pastor nathaniel bassi dear friend and brother who was sharing about the things that were happening to him that a time came in this nation when he was under his late pastor nobody knew anything about him there are footballers who suffered as if God did not call them. Every club side pushed them away and they kept enduring. And when their season came, just one person looked at them and said, come. And that was it. They never returned again. We are going to pray. Let me share with you a story. Many years ago, I went to a place called Premier Hotel in Ibadan. 
when I went there um, it was night and I didn't even have the money to pay for any place for accommodation and I'm telling you I said God what is this I entered the place looked around you know wonderful place and I was seeing people and I could not pay for the place I could not even pay for any place looking around I was just hanging around I couldn't hang out in, inside so I was outside and then eventually I made up my mind I said I can't stay like this till morning there was a church somewhere I trekked and I found a church that was doing night vigil I joined them to do that vigil so that I don't waste there's no need wasting time I tell you this and then a few years later I would go to preach within that region and right from I think it was from the airport or so I can't remember the whole story now I saw people greeting me protocol people with cars and they were leading me to my place of stay guess where they took me when I saw myself climbing that hill tears filled my eyes and I said oh God only a fool says there is no God when they dropped me there they took me to their highest suit and I was there I usually travel with my people and they were outside they were swimming there was a program in the evening you know but these guys were swimming playing table tennis and I was watching them from that place I said it's not your fault my dear people They were happy enjoying themselves by the pool and I was watching I said oh dear but what if be because of what happened at that moment I said you know what this ministry will just fold it that's all do you know how many people are cheering you in the spirit and saying for our sake don't give up we have been waiting for you do you know how many unborn children who are saying doctor you will be the consultant who will deliver me or in case it's cs make sure you keep giving your best do you know how many people who are saying businessman it is your scholarship that is going to raise me to have an encounter don't give up there are nameless faces in the spirit joining the angels to say you have come too far you have come too far apostle you don't know how many times i've failed do not worry there is something called failing forward look up if you enter a plane and the plane is moving and you go back to the back seat are you going backward is the plane moving forward even though inside the plane you are moving back overall are you going backward that's what we call failing forward there is failure as an event there is failure as a person I'm speaking here tonight to a man of God who went for a crusade saying god called you and you went there nobody was healed only one person was saved the people said don't ever tell us god called you again and you return back wondering or a prophet who prophesied 10 cases you got zero you didn't everything you saw was wrong and you are wondering lord did you really call me what of a businessman who five businesses you lost money you failed completely i bring you words of comfort in this kingdom there is something called the season of preparation and the season of appearing during your season of preparation you discover God you discover you you discover that rod that you will be using to do mighty things for the kingdom can I tell you this no matter how many times you fall don't throw that rod that is the rod that you will part the Red Sea with make sure by the time you get to the Red Sea you don't get there alone get there with your rod your rod can be your voice your rod can be your hands your rod can be your brain your rod can be your character everything that can help you today we thank god for the privilege of this rod he has so trained us to hold it was once the rod of moses but when he handed it over to god it became the rod of god never call the rod of moses again it is called the voice of you but when you hand it over to God, it's now called the voice of God. It will now sing songs that will go around the world. It will now preach messages that will go around the world. Be careful when you laugh at people who are in their seasons of training. You may be laughing at your destiny helper 
and bury your head in shame forever there are people who laughed at young people thinking they will never rise there are people who laughed at business people can can i tell you this sometimes god allows people to witness your failure so that they will be the defenders of your greatness they will say no 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 i saw this man of god i knew when he held a crusade that nobody was there i saw this business person i my mother even gave him 20 naira don't be ashamed of your season of tears the scar on your hand today you've heard me say it what you are ashamed of today will become your symbol of honor tomorrow are you ready to pray let's stop here tonight please rise up on your feet please no moving around lend me two or three minutes we are going to pray we are going to pray we are going to pray you are going to lift up your voice in the next two or three minutes and you are going to cry before the God of heaven you are going to tell him Lord I am in my season of preparation grant me grace grant me grace lift your voice and pray if someone pray grant me grace to discover you some of you are just starting in destiny God may not be talking to you about purpose God may not be talking to you about ministry he may not be talking to you about your assignment he will talk to you about himself he wants you to know him not your talent God first lift your voice and pray cry before the Lord your maker in the beginning God over my life so what will start as a ministry starts as an encounter with God what will start as a kingdom financing ministry will still start as God what will start as a kingdom political career still starts as God everything no matter what it is if it is in its beginning it is God Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Catabranda Catecatos, Catabranda Catabacotos Cotopre Catecata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline, grant me the diligence. May I not pamper myself, may I not pamper my destiny let pain not be a a, a a distraction let pain not constitute a limitation grant me the grace to endure like a faithful soldier building building my mind building my gifts building my mind building my value building my mind building my value if someone pray Building my mind, building my value. This is a template that our fathers followed. This is a template that our fathers gave us. This is a template that scripture gives us. We cannot compromise on the pattern. Pray for the season of tests. Oh, that when God will prove me, may I be faithful. That when God will prove me, may I have the stamina to remain. Ye who have continued with me, ye who have continued with destiny. I will finish my season of training with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility with honor with nobility with honor with nobility hallelujah hear me now you are going to pray for sensitivity so that you will not be missing on the day the grace for appearance comes may it find you where god asks you to stay listen the devil can cheat you through offense the devil can cheat you through impatience the devil can cheat you through the manipulation of demonic spirits to not be where the grace for your season of appearance will find you i like you to pray and cry for grace sensitivity oh god
to be where my lifting will meet me is someone pray go ahead please pray this is a spiritual strategy for greatness this is a spiritual strategy in this kingdom there is no magic about how we rise this is the protocol non-emotional non-negotiable non-emotional non-negotiable i obtain grace to be sensitive to the man that god will send when my season of appearing comes i will be sensitive to the instructions that come hallelujah hallelujah listen to me some of you before that season comes prepare your cv and keep it waiting so that if they ask for it in two minutes you can send war betides a man when your helpers call you say i'm not yet prepared that was a mistake of the five foolish virgins they were all virgins but what made some wise and foolish was some carried extra oil it was time the longevity of the time was what separated them just because you are among the virgins does not mean you will see the groomsman five carried extra oil they said peradventure we are stretched beyond time we will stay from this oil and the others did not and even though the bible still respects the fact that they were virgins it said they were foolish virgins so while you are praying sometimes the prayer you are praying is not for ministry again it's for the days when you will need to stand alone there are extra things god is giving you don't throw them away don't throw the extra oil there are them that sell if you don't see them on time the bible says when they went to buy there was a lamentation behold the bridegroom the season of appearing is come and they, they say everybody got up they lit their lamp and for others the oil was not there and they said sorry even though you have waited this long you have still missed the season go to them that sell and buy that means you can buy on time because in any case you will still buy be sure that you don't buy too late buy when you are young buy before children come buy before responsibilities come buy before preaching engagements occupy you buy oil buy lamb buy before your fame goes away build character build grace build stamina that's buying the oil can i tell you this I look at my life today and with every sense of respect sometimes i look at it and i say this this public life sometimes can be so distracting i will pass and see something that i like on the street i can't stop to buy it because both the person selling it and everybody there it will become something else once upon a time i had my liberty to live my life a day will come you will not have the time to do what you're doing i'm telling you Look how long we stay here. There was a time we had all the liberty. So when God is stretching you, see yourself as going to them that sell. Some of you, God is bringing you here. It may not be convenient. You come from very far. And God says, still come. Because a day will come, you may not even be in this country again. A day will come, you may not even be in Abuja again. But Elijah, you ate small, eat again. The journey is still far. please go back and listen to this message again go to koinonia global you will find it on youtube listen again and again and again take note of all these teachings that god has been bringing call somebody who you know is going through a season he does not understand tell him i have a message for you there is a spiritual strategy for greatness let this message explain to you the happenings in your life but as for me i made up my mind not to over celebrate realms because i know compared to where god is taking me and compared to where god is taking this ministry thank god for it but we are only starting i tell you 
this is not what I saw in the visions no you must insist till what God showed you comes to pass when God showed this we saw nations not a city so yours is to believe thank God for what God is doing across the globe but can I tell you as a great family of faith let us give God praise but let's not be too distracted there is a distraction that greatness and success at a level brings we can become full of ourselves koinonia God is doing ABC compared to the miraculous we are just playing child's play compared to levels of fire to change territories this is just this is still a school of the spirit stay with God and let him be done with you and you will see that you will send one word and it will shift the spiritual climate of nations I leave you with this word tonight therefore hear me the Bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it says let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us then it says to run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking up to Jesus who is the author and the finisher of your faith modeling from him who for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross and despised the shame father we thank you for the privilege of coming to your house tonight in the name of jesus christ please would you give me one minute being that this um pastor came all the way to fellowship with us from goshen and we truly honor you alongside our fathers baba um abioye and bishop oyedepo these are fathers that i respect these are people who have brought us grace and it will not be a wise thing to just finish like this so please if i would just invite him to come and speak a blessing on behalf of goshen the grace upon living faith let's honor him as he comes <laughs> hallelujah Let's celebrate Jesus one more time. I don't know about you, I'm blessed to be around at this point in time. The revival fire we are conducting here will last through your lifetime. Every blessing declared today by his servant will stand the test of time in your life. Amen. I join my faith with his servant, Apostle Joshua Selma. I pray over this house today that your desire is turned into a testimony. Amen. Standing on the shoe of my father, Bishop David Olani Oedipo, Bishop David Abui, I prophesize to your life whatever is not working by the encounter of tonight you begin to walk yeah. i stand on the existing grace on this altar what you left as consigned at tomb before you came here at your return it shall turn for you for a testimony yeah. that woman that is looking for the foot of the womb your baby is on this altar tonight That application that you are long overdue for, for a miracle job, your appointment letter is on its way coming to you. Yeah. Every forces that make it work in the hand of our fathers in the faith, that same forces return home with you tonight. Yeah. All your desire, your expectation. He says, surely there is an hand, and that expectation shall not be cut off. I prophesy to your life, your expectation shall not be cut off. Yeah. In Luke 21 13, as I drop the mic, he said, It shall turn for you for a testimony. Yeah. I don't know what is it, but I have good news for you. It shall turn for you for a testimony. Yeah. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate him. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen amen praise the name of the lord now please let me encourage you we 
I believe in the force of ingathering, just like we have learned from our fathers. And even though God has honored us, please hear me. I am very passionate about souls. And this is God's mandate for us. Can I encourage you? Don't say koinonia has crowds. This is not about crowd. Make sure that every time you come to church, please drag somebody and bring him to the house of the Lord. Many of you, when you hear these messages, you think about your family members and you think about your people. This is more than just trying to help a man of God to have this. This is not the idea at all. I must lend my voice and challenge you. Be a soul winner. If souls are not saved, lives will not be changed. A territory will not be transformed. So commit yourself to the ministry of ingathering. Commit yourself to helping and letting people know and see Jesus. Are we together now? Let them know God is changing lives and that you desire for them to be changed. Grant them access to the teachings. It's a gift that you can give them. There is a reason why it is free. It has always been free so that the limitations of resources will be broken and you would have no excuse for your edification and make sure that you continue to grow and this word will keep building you. In the name of Jesus. Very quickly, I want to make an altar call. Please, let's minimize movement. You have received the blessing. You have heard the word. Some of you, you are in your season of preparation and you are even yet to start. Or perhaps you've started doing other things minus God. Please keep standing. I know you've been standing. Let's stand. We're almost wrapping up. There are people here. You came to church and you are saying, Apostle, haven't heard you. I know that I need Jesus. Others, you've given your life to Jesus, but you need to rededicate your life to Jesus. Whether you are here in the overflow following from your home, I am going to count one to five and give you an opportunity, especially that you are within here. Please don't be ashamed. Don't wait for anyone to come before you. I'd like you to boldly make that decision. Come to Jesus. He's given you a new beginning. Are you ready? One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Don't sit back. If you are coming from the overflows, please clear the way for them clear the way for them young and old all together god bless our daddy our father is coming god bless you is this how you celebrate salvation the wages of sin is death the bible says but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ his son keep coming win that war tonight you're saying apostle i'm tired of my life it's time for me to rise no one in my family has risen i know that i need jesus please come quickly i'm counting one to five and we'll be ready to pray if they are coming from outside around the pavement there or the balcony please come quickly join them very quickly two young and old come to jesus three keep coming jesus is calling you in the beginning god in the beginning god you can make that beginning start tonight or you can recycle seasons of defeat or failure in the beginning god four and finally five praise the name of the lord thank you thank you now all who are here and in the overflows just standing by your screen and those who are following from your homes your offices following from whatever tv station i want you to just um, while they are lifting their hands, you would lift or stretch your hands also as an act of faith. I salute every one of you for coming. It is honorable to come to Jesus. God bless you as you are still coming. Please join them very quickly. Please lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me. Mean it from the depth of your heart. It's not a poem. It's a declaration of faith that has spiritual implications. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. I declare from tonight and forever, Jesus is my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that i reign in life i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name please keep your hands lifted father we thank you for these ones you have brought them to yourself may the grace that keeps may that grace keep them in the name of jesus 
by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven i declare that the lord grants you a new beginning the power of sin satan hell and the grave are broken over your life i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit by this i pray that you'll be established in the faith and even in righteousness in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you very carefully i want you to follow the counselors they are waving the placard please take note of hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.